Hey guys, this is Denmark the Dark, here with the Dodge Charger that I just told you about. Um, we'll go and hop in. Engine, horsepower, and transmission, top speed. Because this thing already accelerates like a monster. And not only is it a drifter, but this thing can reach some pretty high top speeds too. Like you could take this into a tier 3, some lower level tier 3 races and it'd do fine. Suspension, you want to oversteer, just because that's best for... Um, drifting, basically. Nitrous velocity, you, you can do duration. It doesn't really matter between what you do because velocity and duration last pretty much the same. And to me, I just feel like velocity makes me go a little faster. Might just be me thinking it up in my head. Um, tires, for this thing, you will actually want drift because with the top speed and horsepower it's got in it in the regular setting it's it's just not going to want to turn right so you do want drift tires on this thing then brakes um, rear bias if I wasn't sure which one of these is better for drifting um, if any of you have an answer put it in the comment section um, then high RPMs just because it can get to high speeds fast, save those tires, and we'll go ahead and hop into a race real quick. <coughs> um, you guys can make requests in the comment section if there's a car in this game that you want me to make a video of, because I have every car in this game unlocked, and if there's a car that, I, um, that you want me to make a video about, um, regardless of the tier, then you have to tell me whether you want it to be a top speed car, or whether you want it to be an acceleration, or a drifter, and then you have a just speed car which has top speed and acceleration balanced between horsepower, or er, horsepower, the engine and transmission. But as you see, this thing excel accelerates like a monster. Um, drifts pretty good too. The horsepower and the drift tires really work well together. As long as you know how to drift and you're drifting the right way, you can drift really well with this. This thing can hit... Oh crap, whoops. I wasn't paying attention. This thing can hit um, pretty decent over 200 miles per hour. And then... Oh wow. I'm, I'm sucking. But as you see, that's a gnarly drifting, but it can hit 200 pretty quick, and then it can hit a pretty speed over 200. See, here's some drifting magic. That was drifting magic right there. Oh, c come on. Get out of my way, Nikki. Drifts like a champ. You can have it to where it drifts and races at top speed. That's kind of what I built this for. Um, and then as you can see here, it's hit 200, I believe 210 is its its cap. If you were to put this in a speed trap, it would do pretty well. Um, drifting races obviously do good at, just because of its sheer acceleration force it has. Um, if you're not an idiot like me, and you drive good, then you can get this car drifting like a champ and drifting real well. Um, <clears throat> that is the Dodge Charger RT drifter version. There is a top speed, a pure top speed version. There is a pure acceleration version. There's just regular speed version. But there's my top speed version. Now, to do a preview of um, the next episode's car, the Lotus Ellis. This is a custom job I did on my own. Um, <laughs> I like to, I like messing around with the fishtail spoilers, but this is <clears throat> something I messed around with. Um, I believe that this is all. Yeah, this is body kit for. Um, fish tail and auto sculpt. 
for visuals, it has iridescent yellow paint, um, vinyls, it just has tribal 2, tribal body, yeah, tribal 2 and tribal body, those are the only two it has, and they look like a lot more, but it's not, really simple, um, that is all for this episode, I will see you in the next episode with the Lotus LS, this is Dimark out. Come on, hit stop.